body. Thank you, brother, to give me this opportunity to express myself. So, we're talking about tutorial class, and uh, I'm from the Republic of West Africa. My name is Galo Kaimons. Now, I'm going to give you some uh, tips how you can be good at English and how you can be a good speaker. Don't be ashamed to speak up. Practicing will make you good at English and making mistakes will make you to do much better. So find out a partner to speak with and don't be afraid of mistakes and don't be embarrassed. The next one, Tom. The next step is don't be frustrated with yourself. Remember that you are learning a new language, which is not your native one. So, to be frustrated will not make you to progress. So, what you should do is try to practice always and be happy of your knowledge. Try to do your best to increase your knowledge. And the third one is don't, think, don't take things personally. You are a beginner or a, not a native speaker. So what you are going to do is you should use some simple vocabulary words. It's not compulsory for you or for everybody to use some difficult vocabulary words. You should speak in simple way so that your audience can understand what you are saying. The fourth one is don't compare yourself with a native speaker. What you are going to do in this way is uh, be happy with your level. You have worked hard to get that knowledge and that ability. Comparing yourself with somebody else sometimes will disappoint you. So the best way is keep in touch with yourself and continue your studying process. And the last one is don't be arrogant. If you get fluent English, don't be arrogant. Remember, you have been at the beginning level before, and it took also time for you to reach that level. So you might be patient and nice toward other new learner if you cannot see it or get them. So, now we are going to talk about some motivation and uh, how you can keep in good spirit. Frankly and honestly speaking, most of the students, they become sad when they cannot understand. But what they are going to do now is what? They sh should know there is no any benefit for having sadness into the heart. Sadness weakens the heart and diminish determination and wanting to go forward. For this reason, be happy and uh, be satisfied about your knowledge. Don't underestimate any skill that you get because you have worked hard to get that knowledge. Through that little knowledge, you get the huge one. So the important thing is, you might know that English is a complete learning process. You might follow the process. And don't ruin your mind with worry. Don't ruin your victory with deception. Don't ruin your life with worry. You should know that it's continuously that you can get a good skill. So what I'm going to tell you finally is uh, be the owner of the heart that brief, happiness, satisfaction and uh, kindness. Thank you so much.